In the Netflix series Stranger Things, the story begins in Hawkins, Indiana, with the mysterious disappearance of the young boy Will Byers. Most assume this is a typical missing kid case, but Will's friends Mike Wheeler, Dustin Henderson, and Lucas Sinclair suspect something stranger was afoot. While looking for Will, they discover a mysterious young girl with a shaved head named Eleven. Eleven has escaped from a government facility, Hawkins National Lab, where experiments conducted on her have given her psychokinetic abilities. Eleven agrees to use her powers to help her new friends try to find and save Will. While the trio of Mike, Dustin, and Lucas teach Eleven what it's like to be a normal kid. Along the way, Mike and Eleven even begin to develop romantic feelings for each other. It turns out that Will is trapped in a place known as the Upside Down, a dark alternate dimension that Hawkins Lab was investigating that also happened to be inhabited by monstrous creatures known as Demogorgons. From his dangerous new location, Will finds a way to communicate with his mother Joyce, who believed there was something more mysterious behind her son's disappearance. Joyce manages to convince the town's carefree sheriff, Jim Hopper, to move forward with an unconventional investigation. When Hopper begins to suspect that experiments at Hawkins Labs might have something to do with Will's disappearance, he is constantly deterred by higher authorities. This emboldens Hopper to dig even deeper, disobeying his superiors and going rogue to uncover the truth. Meanwhile, Mike's older sister Nancy is dating popular bad boy and hair icon Steve Harrington. When Nancy's friend Barb goes missing, she teams up with Will's outcast older brother Jonathan, the target of bullying from Steve's friend group, to investigate the strange things happening in their small town. Nancy and Jonathan are unaware that Barb had been taken into the Upside Down and killed by a Demogorgon, meaning everyone would need to act fast to save Will from a similar fate. As season one comes to a close, the various characters begin to move closer to the truth, putting them all in increasing levels of danger. Hopper and Joyce use a portal in Hawkins labs to enter the Upside Down to find and rescue Will. This also brings catharsis to Sheriff Hopper, who was still haunted by the grief of losing his young daughter Sarah to cancer. Meanwhile, Nancy and Jonathan plan to attack and kill the Demogorgon, luring it to the buyer's residence. In Underwear, Steve shows up at the worst possible moment, roping him into the plan to kill the monster. The trio fight and injure the creature, but the Demogorgon manages to escape. The head of Hawkins Lab, Dr. Martin Brenner, has his team track Eleven and her new friends to the local middle school. The injured Demogorgon arrives, seemingly killing Brenner and his team, before turning its sights on Eleven, Mike, Dustin, and Lucas. Eleven uses her powers to defeat the creature, sacrificing herself in the process. As the season comes to a close, Hopper heads into the woods and leaves behind some Eggo waffles, Eleven's favorite food, hinting at her survival. And Will Byers has been returned home safely, but then secretly coughs up a slug-like creature and has a vision of the Upside Down, meaning he hadn't quite escaped danger just yet. Season 2 of Stranger Things picks up nearly a year after the events of Season 1. Mike still hasn't given up hope on somehow reuniting with Eleven, Will begins to suffer from increasingly severe upside down visions, and Dustin and Lucas have begun pining over the same new girl, Max. In other developments, Nancy and Steve break up, and Joyce has a new boyfriend, the lovable Bob. Oh, and Eleven is actually alive and well and has been secretly living with Hopper out in a secluded cabin the entire time. Although Hopper insists to Eleven that her living there in secret was for her own safety, Eleven grows angry and resentful toward her new surrogate father. This leads to Eleven breaking the rules and seeking out Mike. Unfortunately, Eleven misreads an encounter between Mike and Max as flirtatious and decides against reuniting with her crush. Instead, Eleven goes off in search of her biological mother, whom she'd been taken from at birth. Eleven finds her mother catatonic and mentally broken by her experiences with Hawkins Lab. And so Eleven goes off on another search, this time finding Callie, another girl taken by Dr. Brenner to experiment on. Callie takes Eleven under her tutelage, training her to use her anger to strengthen her powers. It's eventually revealed that Will Byers has been infected by a villainous shadow monster dubbed the Mind Flayer. Will begins creating seemingly erratic and random drawings that actually turn out to be a map of the upside down network of tunnels underneath the town of Hawkins. Hawkins Lab has rebranded and installed a new director, Dr. Owens, to right their previous wrongs. They attempt to destroy the tunnels, but this causes Will to break down in agonizing pain. Will is taken to the lab, where Dr. Owens hypothesizes that eradicating the tunnels could prove to be fatal to Will. 
And it's not just the Mind Flayer that our heroes have to worry about. Packs of loose young Demogorgons nicknamed Demodogs have been unleashed on the town. A newly single and heartbroken Steve Harrington teams up with Max, Lucas, and Dustin, who adopts a Demodog named Dart, to stop the creatures from destroying Hawkins. The group fend off the Demodogs, then track them to Hawkins' lab. Along the way, they team up with Nancy and Jonathan who have been trying to expose the truth of the Upside Down to the public in an attempt to get justice for Barb. Inside Hawkins' lab, Hopper, Joyce, Bob, Mike, Will, and Dr. Owens are attacked by the pack of Demodogs. Dr. Owens stays behind to help the others navigate safely out of the overrun lab, and Bob sacrifices himself to help the others escape. The entire group retreats to the buyer's residence as the Demodogs give chase. And that's when Eleven finally returns, sensing Mike was in danger and saves everyone by defeating the creatures. After a very brief and celebratory reunion, the group formulates a plan to defeat the Mind Flayer which would save Will and the rest of the town. Joyce, Nancy, and Jonathan take Will to Hopper's cabin, where they overheat him to burn the Mind Flayer's virus out of him. Steve leads the rest of the kids to the Vine Tunnels, now able to destroy them without hurting Will. This serves as a distraction, luring the remaining Demodogs to them, while Hopper and Eleven return to Hawkins' lab to permanently close the portal to the Upside Down. Eleven successfully uses her powers to close the gate, killing all of the remaining Demogorgons, including poor Dart. As the season comes to a close, Dr. Owens gives Hopper a forged birth certificate for Eleven, allowing her to live publicly as a normal child. Hawkins' lab is then permanently shut down after Nancy and Jonathan team up with disgraced journalist and conspiracy theorist Murray Bowman to expose the lab's experiments. At the middle school dance, everything was finally back to normal. Steve helps Dustin be cool, Lucas and Max kiss, Mike and Eleven kiss, oh and the Mind Flayer is revealed to still be alive, towering over the school and keeping watch over our heroes. In season 3 of Stranger Things, the kids of Hawkins are trying to put their crazy past behind them and just be typical teenagers. Dustin returns home from summer camp with a new long-distance girlfriend, Susie, that his friends speculate is made up. Max and Lucas have developed an on-again, off-again relationship, and Mike and Eleven are still going strong. So strong, in fact, that Hopper goes full overprotective father and threatens Mike to stop him from seeing Eleven. This creates a strain on the relationship, which results in Eleven breaking up with Mike. The Starcourt Mall has been newly built in Hawkins and becomes a hot spot for the kids to hang out at. As for the adults, Steve is unsure of what to do with his life and takes a job working at the Scoops Ahoy ice cream shop in the mall. There, he befriends and flirts with his new co-worker, Robin. Jonathan and Nancy both become interns at the Hawkins Post, and Hopper develops romantic feelings for Joyce, who rebuffs his advances. When Dustin tries to communicate with his girlfriend Susie via radio, he accidentally intercepts a mysterious Russian transmission. He teams up with Steve, Robin, and Lucas's younger sister Erica to decode the message, revealing that Russians were unloading mysterious shipments at the Starcourt Mall at night. Upon further investigation, the group discovers an elevator leading to a Russian lab deep below the mall's surface. Inside the lab, the group finds Russian scientists attempting to reopen a portal to the Upside Down. Steve and Robin are captured and interrogated by the Russians, but are saved by Dustin and Erica. Following his brush with death, Steve confesses his true feelings for Robin, who in turn comes out to him as a lesbian. Meanwhile, Joyce begins to notice demagnetization around her home and office and brings Hopper in to help her investigate. At first, they suspect the answer to once again lead back to Hawkins' lab, but instead find out from Hawkins' corrupt Mayor Klein that the Russians had been buying abandoned properties throughout the town, including the newly constructed mall, for some mysterious, nefarious purposes. Eventually, Hopper and Joyce befriend a kind Russian scientist named Alexei, who doesn't speak any English. They take Alexei to conspiracy theorist Murray Bowman to help translate. Alexei confirms to them that the Russians were attempting to reopen the portal to the Upside Down below the Starcourt Mall. The group is pursued by a Russian soldier named Grigory, who kills Alexei for his betrayal. Nancy and Jonathan begin investigating the home of an elderly woman named Mrs. Driscoll, who was concerned about rabid rats eating her fertilizer. Nancy and Jonathan discover that this wasn't an isolated incident as rats are spotted all over town eating fertilizer. Soon, Mrs. Driscoll herself is eating fertilizer, and Nancy and Jonathan realize she has been possessed by the Mind Flayer. Also possessed by the Mind Flayer, Max's older stepbrother, Billy. 
The Mind Flayer uses Billy to amass an army of other possessed victims. Eleven uses her powers to locate the Mind Flayer by going inside the possessed Billy's mind. He reveals that the Mind Flayer wants to kill her as revenge for closing the portal in Season 2. The possessed army then begins to dissolve together to form a giant organic mass, the physical embodiment of the Mind Flayer. The Mind Flayer attacks Eleven's group, seriously wounding Eleven. The group then teams up with Nancy and Jonathan to head to the mall to rescue Steve, Robin, Dustin, and Erica. Eleven defeats the Russians but collapses due to her wound from the Mind Flayer. She realizes a piece of the Mind Flayer had been embedded inside her, and upon removing it, she suddenly loses all of her powers. Hopper, Joyce, and Murray arrive at the mall to save the kids and destroy the Russian machine that was opening a new portal. As the kids try to leave, the Mind Flayer and Billy trap them inside the mall. Eleven manages to get through to the possessed Billy, recounting his happiest memory with his deceased mother that Eleven had witnessed when previously inside his mind. Billy then realized all of the terrible things he had done, and sacrificed himself to the Mind Flayer in order to save his sister Max and all of her friends. Down in the lab, Hopper, Joyce, and Murray race to the machine, guided by Dustin via radio. To shut down the machine, the trio needed to crack a safe that held the necessary shutdown keys. The combination to the safe was the quantum mechanics equation for Planck's constant. Fortunately, Dustin knew exactly who to call for the solution and radios his very real camp girlfriend, Susie. Susie, unaware of how dire Dustin's situation was, forces him to duet the theme song from NeverEnding Story before giving him the code. Hopper and Joyce open the safe and grab the keys, ready to shut down the machine. Unfortunately, Grigori arrives and attacks Hopper. Hopper kills Grigori by throwing him into the machine, causing the whole system to malfunction. Hopper is left with no way to escape and gives Joyce the signal to destroy the machine anyway. A distraught Joyce turns the key, closing the gate and saving the day, but vaporizing Hopper in the process. With the gate to the upside down closed, the Mind Flayer in the mall collapses and dies. Three months later, Starcourt Mall is destroyed and the corrupt Mayor Klein is arrested. The Byers family take in the now orphaned and powerless Eleven and prepare to leave Hawkins for good. Mike and Eleven reaffirm their love for each other as Eleven departs. Meanwhile, over in Russia, Hopper is revealed to be alive and held prisoner as his captors continue their experiments on the Upside Down and its villainous inhabitants. And that's everything you need to know before watching Season 4 of Stranger Things. Let me know some of your favorite moments from the entire series so far in the comments below and what are you most looking forward to seeing in season four. Like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe to this channel for more content like it, and that does it for me in this video, but I'll see you in the next one.